Hi there. Now for this part of the question then, we were told that these two lines L1 and L2 intersect at a point X and we had to find the value of P here. Well, it turns out that P equals minus 5. And the method we use is a fairly standard method that when you're looking for where two lines intersect, then their position vectors R would be exactly the same for some value of lambda and for some value of mu. So you'll notice then I've just equated them. And then what we do is we compare the i, j and k components. So with the i components you can see I've done 14 minus 2 lambda equals p plus 3 mu as you can see here. And I've done the same then for the J and K components. Now, if we're out to find out what P is, P only occurs in this equation, so I've made it the subject and expressed it in terms of lambda and mu. Now, from the equation J, I've rearranged it to make lambda the subject, it equals 2 mu minus 1, and similarly from the equation here, I've made 4 lambda the subject and it equals mu plus 17. So by substituting for lambda into equation 3, I can establish what mu is. And you can see I've done it here and mu turns out to be 3. And then I can substitute mu equals 3 back into this equation 2 and work out what lambda is. And it turns out to be 5. So by substituting the values of lambda and mu, 5 and 3 respectively, into equation 1, I establish that P is equal to minus 5. Okay?